Hey guys, welcome back to Home on the Edge. Glad to have you here. We want to make a short video because we are reaching the end of our contract here. Uh, but we are going to be at the Hershey RV show coming up uh, September here in just a few weeks. I'm really excited. Yeah. It'll be our first time. We've never been to the Hershey RV show. In fact, on Friday, September the 13th, Friday the 13th, yep, at 2.30, we're going to have a meetup with No Sticks, No Bricks, John Dendigo, and RV Your Way. We're going to be on the bottom floor of the Giant Center. Uh, and that's the main center, I think. Like I said, we've never been there. But it's going to be on the bottom floor uh, in the hallway outside the arena at 2.30, from 2.30 to 3.30. So if you're going to be there, uh, come by and see us because that smells thing she likes to socialize. Look at all those spiders up there. No, thank you. But before we're able to get to Hershey, uh, to get to the show, to get to the meetup, to so meet you guys and shake hands, We've got a lot to do here because we've been here for about 10 and a half months. That's the longest we've ever sat still in one place while living full time in the camper. It's the longest contract we've ever worked. It's going to end up being uh, right at a year long. So this, has, this thing hasn't moved in, in quite a bit of time. So we've got a few things to do uh, to make sure it's ready for the trip home, number one. Uh, and number two, we've got a lot of maintenance uh, issues that we need to take care of when we get home before we head to Hershey. So with sitting in one place for so long, the thing that really comes to my mind or what I'm gonna be worried about on travel day, we've got about a four hour drive home uh, to our home base in North Georgia. That's gonna be uh, the suspension, the tires, the hubs, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna be paying close attention to that. Uh, now the hubs were all greased just fine when we got here. Uh, bearings are all packed. Uh, the tires, brand new tires, they are, they've been on there about a year, uh, but they've only got a couple hundred miles on them. Uh, so we'll air those up the morning that we leave, make sure everything's uh, good to go. I'm gonna put some grease in the hubs, uh, just to say I did uh, for the ride home. Now when we get home, I've got brand new bearings, brand new races, we're gonna pull all of the uh, drums off, we're gonna check all the bearings, repack them if they're good, uh, if I need to replace them all, then I will replace all the bearings in the races. I've got brake uh, new backer plates with new brake pads or shoes on there. So we're going to replace all the trailer brakes. We'll have new trailer brakes, uh, freshly packed bearings. So we should be good, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, for the trip headed to Hershey. And then we'll be making our way up the uh, eastern coast to Montreal to spend some time in Canada and we're really looking forward to it but we got like I said we've got all this stuff to do. So it's really easy to uh, get stuff to accumulate things if you're just kind of hanging out somewhere for a long time. Like I said we've been here uh, for what's going on about 10 and a half 11 months now uh, so we've uh, kind of made ourselves at home we've collected a lot of stuff now we've been going through it deciding what we need to get rid of, what's gonna go home with us, what's not gonna go home with us, and what we need to keep uh, in the RV for the upcoming trip. I think it's a lot easier uh, to pay close attention to what you're bringing in and out of the RV when you're, just con when you're constantly moving every week or so. But that's something that you gotta think about uh, on a daily basis when you're living in an RV is what you're bringing in uh, versus your weight rating and what's, what you actually need inside the RV. We really wanted to get a gazebo for this trip as well. And we were about to buy a clam shelter. I was about to pull the trigger on buying a, a, one of the clam pop-up gazebos, but this Gazelle G6 came up on uh, Facebook Marketplace, literally two or three miles down the road, all six wind panels, uh, the footprint, rain fly, everything with it for it had been used one time at the beach perfect condition you know paid like 150 bucks for it so we've had that set up for about a month and a half two months now and it's been our garage for melissa's e-bike uh, and and we've kept a table and a bunch of other stuff in there but we're really looking forward to like throwing that over the picnic table at some of the campsites uh, and being able to spend the cool evenings out there just kind of hanging out with friends really looking forward to it so uh, but we got to figure out that's another thing we got to figure out where we're going to put it, how we're going to transport it, possibly maybe on the rack on the back of the truck, I don't know, or lay it in the floor in the RV, really haven't gotten that far. 
I tell you what though, we really have enjoyed the hills and mountains of East Tennessee though. It's been a beautiful year that we've spent here. Got a leak in uh, this pigtail hose here in the propane. It just uh, sprung a leak right up at the fitting just the other day. So we've got this side shut off. Got to get a hose. I'll have those shipped home and I'll fix that, replace that before we leave. As well, something I would like to get done while we're home. Again, we're going to be doing all the brakes and hubs and checking all that stuff when we're there. Uh, earlier this winter, I had to crawl under there and replace the black tank pull handle with the cable. It's a stainless steel cable uh, or wire that runs to the black tank valve because it had bound up and, and really just wasn't working anymore. Uh, got that replaced, it's working well, but the gray, both the gray tanks, the uh, bathroom and the kitchen gray tank are kind of in the same boat now. They're not wholly closing and they're not wholly opening. Uh, so I need to order some cables and try to get those replaced. The only thing I don't like about that is I don't have enough time to pull down the entire underbelly. So I'm just gonna have to cut some holes in the underbelly uh, where, the, where the valves are at to replace the cables. I don't wanna put more holes in the underbelly, but I may not have much of a choice at this moment. I may, I've already got several under there where we had a bathroom shower leak, where I had to replace the black tank valve. Uh, I'll just have more, I guess, if I replace those. But I guess what I could do is just cut out a giant chunk of the underbelly and replace a big piece of it and just have like two seams, you know, instead of a bunch of holes there taped up, but we'll see. So in case you missed it, make sure that you go to the Hershey RV show yep, yep. and we will be there September 13th, which is Friday Bye. at what time? 2.30 to 3.30. Where? At the Giant Center on the bottom floor. In the hallway. Outside the arena. Be so, there. Or be outside the arena. Be or, there. Just be there. Yeah. Or, but we'd like to So if you're there. at the Hershey show, <laughs> be there because it's not just going to be us. There's going to be other creators there. Uh, and it's going to be a wonderful show. And we would love to meet you. Shake your hands. We'll have stickers uh, to give away. Uh, and we'd love to put faces behind names that we see in the comments. So if you're going to be there, you might as well spend the time. Come meet us and say hello. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'd love to see you. Perfect.